Storm clouds are finally gathering over Zimbabwe's biggest animal reserve, but it has come too late for more than a 100 elephants that have died in a searing, extended drought. The animals which were mainly affected were the old, the young and the sick, says Tinish Farawo, spokesperson for the Zimbabwe Parks and Wildlife Management Authority. I'm going to go to Wait. Alan, I'm ready. From September up until um, mid-November or end, end of November, we have lost about 112 elephants, um, according to our statistics. The animals uh, which were mainly affected were the old, the young and the sick. If you notice, they will die within 50 to 60 meters from the water source because they can't cope with the distance that the animals were traveling uh, in search of water and search of food. The, the situation was happening right up until the onset of the rain season. I think we, have, we got a bit of relief last week when we received some rains. Mainly because of issues of climate change, we've been recording uh, droughts over the past few years. That's why maybe we, we were having these problems. It's not only elephants which are affected, but there are also other animals. But because elephants, they can be easily noticed uh, because of their size. The elephants, especially, they have a tendency of uh, knocking down trees. So as they move, naturally, they destroy trees. So these are some of the challenges. And it's not only affecting the elephants alone. It's also affecting other, other species. For example, there, there are vouchers. Vouchers can only breed in a certain tree height. So if the animals destroy those trees, it means they, it, it affects their breeding cycle. We also want to make sure that we create value for our wildlife, for our effort, so that at least the animals can pay for their upkeep. Of course, through tourism and many other activities. That way, that's why we've been pushing to make sure that at least we can create value from, from our wildlife. Because wildlife management or conservation is expensive. And that's why also we also try to work with other partners to, to make sure that at least we can successfully manage our wildlife.